Hey everyone, Cody here from the Protocase Designer team. For this video, I'm going to be covering objects in the 2D face editor. I recommend first watching our overview of the face editor video if you haven't already, just so that you're familiar with the user interface. Objects are the elements that you can create for your design. You can find them in the design tab of the face editor. Let's go over each of the different object types. Cutouts are shapes that are cut out of the sheet metal using a laser. The cutout object is used to add shapes for accommodating connectors, switches, ports, cutouts, logos, and images. The graphic object type is used to add silkscreen or digital print to the face. Silkscreening is limited to specific colors, while digital printing can print any number of colors, including gradients, with precise rendering. Note that you cannot apply both silkscreening and digital print to the same face. Masking is the application of a thin green film in order to prevent powder coat from being applied. This is usually done to make a bare spot for an electrical ground. You can use masking on any metal, although when you use it on cold rolled steel, you will receive a warning that the metal may rust. The reference object is used to mark a reference area in your design. Reference objects will not be visible on your final design and will never affect production. The exclusion object type is used to mark areas where other objects, except for text and graphics, cannot be applied. If you place an object into an exclusion zone, Protocase Designer will trigger a warning that objects may not interfere with exclusion zones. To add an object to the face of your design, you must first select the type of object you want. By default, Cutout will be selected. Use the Draw tools to sketch and place your shape. If you need to place a graphic on your design, select the Graphic Object Type and then Image. You'll be prompted to select your SVG graphics file. Once you've placed an object into your design, you can use the Properties panel on the right-hand side to change its path type. For example, I have a circle cutout on my design. Once I select it, I can now change it to a different path type by selecting a different option under the Path Type dropdown. The Properties panel is also very useful for changing many different parameters for the object you've placed, including the origin, rotation, dimension, and more. This concludes our overview of placing objects in Protocase Designer. Up next, we'll look into how to use the alignment and distribute tools to arrange objects in your face. Thanks for watching.